Welcome everyone, this is George Kamiti again. Today we are drawing the shear force and bending moment diagrams for a simply supported beam loaded with two point rods and one uniformly distributed load. We had already calculated the shear forces and plotted the shear force diagram. Therefore, what we are remaining with is plotting the bending moment diagram. So we have bending moment calculations. Remember, moment is given by force times distance. Now, the bending moment at support A as well as the bending moment at support B are equal and they are equal to zero. Remember, bending moment at the supports of A, a simply supported beam, is always zero. From there, we go to bending moment at point F, which in this case is going to be a load of 5.5 kN acting at B, which is the reaction at B, times the distance from B to F. So in this case, we are going to have 5.5 kN times 1 meter, which is going to give us 5.5 kN meter. Then we have bending moment at point E. The bending moment at point E is going to be 5.5 kN times the distance from B to E, which is 2 meters. Therefore, we have 5.5 times 2 meters. Then we subtract. This is an anticlockwise moment. We subtract a clockwise moment of 4 kN point rod at point F times the distance from F to E, which is 1 meter. Therefore, we have 4 times 1. This is going to give us 5.5 times 2, that is 11, minus 4 times 1, that is 4, to give us a moment of 7 kilo newton meter. Then we calculate the value of the maximum bending moment. Remember, our question had also asked us to clearly mark the position of the maximum bending moment which we marked as this point, point M, because that is the point where shear force is zero. And when shear force is zero, bending moment is maximum. And determine its value. Therefore, the value of the maximum bending, with bending moment will be determined as follows. 5.5 kN, that is the reaction at point B, times the distance from B to M, which will be 2 meters, plus the distance from E to M, the point of maximum bending moment, which is 0 0.75 meters. Therefore, 5.5 times 2.75 meters. Then, minus a clockwise moment of 4 kN times the distance from F to the point of maximum bending moment, which will be 1 plus 0 0.75 meters. Therefore, we are going to have 4 times 1.75 meters. Minus, between point E to the point of maximum bending moment, that is point M, we have a uniformly distributed load of 2 kN at uh, being distributed on a span of 0 0.75 meters. Therefore, we are going to have the uniformly distributed load of 2 kN per meter times the span of 0 0.75 meters times 0 0.75 meters divided by 2. 2 times 0 0.75, that is converting this UDL to point load. 0 0.75 divided by 2 means that this point load that we have con uh, converted from this UDL is acting at the center of point E and M. And that is the reason as to why we are dividing this 0 0.75 meters span by 2. Therefore, this is going to give us 5.5 times 2.75. That will be 15.125 minus 4 times 1.75. That is going to be 7 minus the other one is going to be 0 
six, two, five. Because two and two will cancel out. 0 0.75 times 0 0.75, that is going to be 0 0.5625. Therefore, the value of the maximum bending moment will be, so when you take 15.125 minus 7 minus 0 0.5625, that is going to give you 7.56 kilo newton meter. Then from there, we go to bending moment at point D and determine its value in this uh, way. 5.5 reaction at B times the distance from B to D, which is 4 meters. Therefore, 5.5 times 4 minus 4 times the distance from F to D, which is 3 meters. Therefore, we have 4 times 3 minus between point E to point D we have a UDL of 2 kN per meter we multiply that UDL with the span onto which it is distributed which is 2 meters therefore that is converting the UDL to point rod then we multiply by half of that span because that uh, point rod will act at the center of point E and D. Therefore, this is going to give us 5.5 times 4, that is 22, minus 4 times 3, that is 12, 2 times 2 times 1, that is 4. And therefore, this is going to give us the bending moment at point D being 6 kilo newton meter and finally we calculate the bending moment at point c therefore the bending moment at point c will be given uh, this way by 5.5 multiplied by that is 5.5 the reaction at b times the distance from b to c which will be 2 plus 2 4 plus 1 5 therefore 5.5 times 5 and then we subtract 4 times the distance from F to C which is uh, 4 meters therefore 4 times 4 minus between point E to point D we have a UDL of 2 kN per meter therefore 2 times a span of 2 to convert it to point rod then we multiply by this point rod is going to act at the center of point E and D, which is a span of 2 meters divided by 2. And then we add the distance from point D to point C, 1 meter. Therefore, we add 1 meter. So this is going to give us 5.5 uh, times 5 is 27.5 kilo newton meter minus 4 times 4 that is 16 minus 2 times 2 times 2 that is going to be 8 and therefore the moment at point c will be 3.5 kilo newton meter therefore ladies and gentlemen after calculating all the bending moments at each and every point on this simply supported beam we are going to use this bending moment calculations to plot the bending moment diagram. To plot the bending moment diagram. And we are going to plot it like this. When you look at uh, all our bending moments, they are positive, And therefore, they are going to appear above this line of origin. Therefore, starting with the bending moment at B, that is 0. Then from there, we go to bending moment at F, 5.5. So if we approximate 5.5 units to be at that point. So we are going to connect this uh, bending moment at F to the bending moment at B, which is 0, with a, a straight slope. Therefore, we have 5.5 kilo newton meter at F. The bending moment at point 
E that is 7 kilonewton meter. Therefore, if this is uh, two, this is 5.5 .5 kilonewtons. We move uh, some few units approximately at that point. So we connect the bending moment at point E to the bending moment at point F with a, st a straight slope as well. Therefore, that is going to be 7 kilo newton meter. Then we have the maximum bending moment, which is 7.56 kilo newton meter. So if that is 7 kilo newton, just some few uh, units above 7 of 0 0.56 kilo newton. Now, the, between point E and point M, that section is loaded with a uniformly distributed load and therefore we are going to have a smooth curve a smooth curve because we have a UDL at that point therefore the maximum bending moment is 7.56 kilo newton meter from there we move to bending moment at D which is 6 kilo newton so if this is a 5.5 kilo newtons, the kilo newton meter, a 6 kilo newton meter, just uh, some few units uh, above 5.5 to give us 6 kilo newton meter. Again, since between point M to point D, uh, that span is carrying a uniformly distributed load, we are going to draw a smooth curve to join the 7.56 kilo newton meter that is the maximum bending moment to 6 kilo newton meter at point d therefore we have 6 kilo newton meter then from there we move to uh, the bending moment at point c which is 3.5 kilo newton meter so if this is 5.5 or this is 0, 3.5, approximately that point. Between point D and point C, we don't have a UDL, therefore we are going to join with a smooth slope. Therefore at point uh, C, we have a bending moment of 5 kilo newton meter. And finally, the bending moment at A is 0. Again, we join with a smooth slope to have a complete bending moment diagram. Now, since all our bending moments are positive, we are going to light a positive sign inside this bending moment diagram. And then to have a clear uh, outline of our bending moment diagram, we are going to shade off our uh, outline so that our bending moment diagram can be very clear. Then below it, we are going to write BMD, denoting bending moment diagram. So ladies and gentlemen, that is how we determine the bending moments and use those bending moments to plot a bending moment diagram. Thank you for liking our video. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and always be the first person to be notified every time we upload a new video. Thank you very much for stopping by to watch our videos.